What's good everybody? Welcome back to the Volpro Scooters. My name is Austin and you guys are joining me for another custom build. Today we're going to be doing a all one color custom build and a few of these in the past and I was actually looking at some of our old videos and I noticed that we did an all neochrome custom build like two or three years ago and I figured it would probably be pretty cool to redo it see what we could do differently essentially. So that's what we're going to be doing today guys the all neochrome custom build. Let's head on into the warehouse and start picking out our parts. Alrighty, so we're in the warehouse, gotta pick out the parts. To be honest, I had to do a little bit of research because believe it or not, there's a lot of different types of neochrome, if you will, in scootering. Some companies' neochrome is a lot more vibrant, has a lot more purple and pink. Other companies has a little bit more gold. So I wanna make sure all the neochromes match as well as they can. And that leads me to my decks which is going to be the lucky covenant deck this deck i feel like it doesn't get a lot of love when it should and based off of my knowledge it has a really good neochrome so we're gonna crack this video open over there and uh see what it looks like so as you guys can see the deck itself is a lot more pink and purple it's in blue here the head tube has a little bit more yellow on this side and on this side but more purple i guess here and neochrome decks just vary a lot of them are different bars are gonna be different like i said for the sake of this build i think this is my favorite neochrome as of now so we're gonna use this deck bars 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 there's not a lot of neochrome or oil slick bars out there surprisingly either but my favorite neochrome bar envy reaper v3s these bars are sick i have these bars not in neochrome i had them in polished and i had them in black let's crack these guys open and see how they match oh all right so see on this part of the bar it's got a lot more pink and blue especially up here but this side all gold this side all gold up here not gold it's pretty much just how neochrome works but either way this is the full neochrome custom so it's gonna work today got the deck covered we got the bars let's go grab a fork and a clamp i'm running scs i don't care what anybody says i want to use the omen scs because it's a sick scs but julian just used it but i think i might stick with another envy scs and go with the uh this guy the uh envy three bolt forge scs i believe is what it's called but it's a sleek neochrome scs boom just sticking with the neochrome theme let's go grab a fork gotta grab my ladder because no way i can reach up there all right so neochrome forks there is a lot of neochrome forks guys i'm telling you you guys could probably drop a comment with like five neochrome forks off the top of your head because there's that many of them yeah, let's go with this the oath fork oath shadow fork comes in this super sick box and look it's neochrome and to be honest with you the sick looking fork oh look at that it's sick if you guys don't like it like the video if you do like it like the video it's the way we do things here okay wheels boy it's gonna be a hard one look at all these wheels a lot of neochrome wheels too it's gonna be a tough one wheels on wheels gosh i didn't think about this part there's so many what if we did these fusion flight wheels got a bunch of these they're actually on sale if i remember correctly as well and if i can open the box i'll show you guys what they look like these guys are clear on neochrome look at that boom Honestly, I think since we're going for all neochrome, clear makes the most sense because it's not going to like break up anything. We're going to go with these fusion flight wheels, clear on neochrome. Let's grab some grips. I know you guys at home are probably going to be like yelling at me through your computer screen or your phone or whatever. Austin, if this is the full neochrome scooter, how are you going to do grips? To be honest, you guys are right. There is no such thing as a neochrome grip. But what there is, these are the ODI SLX long neck grips in this iridescent purple colorway. Look at it. It's like purple with like some gold. It's like iridescent. This is the closest thing we're going to get to neochrome grips. What else are we missing? Wait, surprise. Here we go. On this wall, there is the Lucky Defender. Get it like Defender, but Defender. This is Lucky's aftermarket fender that will work on pretty much all of their decks. I don't mind keeping a brake on a custom, but the brake that comes on the Covenant deck is like black. This is a neochrome fender there's all that let's look at some grip tape this is another one dude i know you guys are gonna be on me how are you gonna do neochrome grip tape austin i don't know i'm just gonna find the closest thing to neochrome grip tape and go with that i could go with clear grip tape because then obviously clear grip tape would show the neochrome deck underneath however i saw this right here look at this this is the mod nora grip tape and it's this super sick pattern with all these different colors but this is like pretty like rainbowish right it's got purples and golds and yellows i think this is pretty neochrome if you ask me and while we're here may as well grab a headset neochrome headsets not gonna be too hard to find to be honest with you i think i'm just gonna go with all reliable vault velocity 2 in neochrome look at that sticking with some vault parts. I'm really hyped on this build so far just because, I mean, we have a couple Envy parts, a couple Lucky parts, but for the most part, using some different stuff. I think the last part that I want to grab for this build is actually 
in the front of the store. So let's go grab that. All right, I'm back. Unfortunately, there's like six customers up front. I'm not trying to go up there and film right now, but we're gonna be throwing on a pair of our vault bar ends. Unfortunately, we don't have the Neochrome ones in stock right now, but we have purple. I know purple is not Neochrome. Grips aren't Neochrome either, but I would rather ride purple bar ends on this custom than just black ones to throw the whole color scheme off. So for that reason, we're gonna throw these purple ones on. Roast me in the comments, it's okay, I get it. That right there is all the parts for a beautiful Neochrome only custom build. So I think it's time we gather all these parts, we head back in the studio and we build it up. I will see you there. And just like that, we can start building this guy. So I'm gonna start with gripping the deck. I made some scissors for every of those because I do not need this much grip tape. Get it lined up and don't need this much grip tape, I'm gonna go ahead and include this with the custom build. So whoever buys it gets all of it. I think this grip tape is honestly gonna look pretty cool. I'm really excited to see what it looks like on the scooter. Sweet. The really cool thing about the Covenant deck is when you actually cut the head tube, it pretty much grooves it to the uh, the welds perfectly. So it's gonna save me a little bit of time. Okay. Dude, this grip tape is just sticking to everything. I don't know why, I swear this grip tape is insane. Right, let's get all these little bits and pieces off so I can avoid scratching the deck. Very, very common thing. We leave grip tape on the table. Guess what? Deck goes over the grip tape, bars go over the grip tape on the table. Boom, scratch. Oh, oh. So while I'm here, I wanna ask you guys, what is your guys' favorite color? for a scooter, I guess. Is it the color of your scooter now? I guess if you could have any color scooter, just a theme for your overall scooter, not any one specific part, what would that color be? Because purple is one of my favorite colors and I'm kind of curious what your guys are. And there's a chance we might do an all one color custom build that's your favorite color. So drop that comment, let us know what your favorite color is and maybe, just maybe you'll see it. And just like that, grip tape is done. Now we're gonna start assembling the front end. Bearing number one, a little bit of green. All right, that worked out nicely. And bearing number two. All right, slide our dust cover on. That looks crazy. Now we can put our clamp on as well. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Dang, that looks crazy. <laughs> that is a lot of Neochrome. With the front end of the scooter assembled, let's go ahead and throw on our fender and probably our back wheel as well. Got my lucky defender. If you guys don't know what this rubber thing does, this rubber thing pretty much uh, dampens noise. So if your brake is making a lot of rattling noises, you probably don't have one of these on there. So you should definitely have one, but it just goes above the brake or fender and sits between the deck to eliminate metal on metal contact, which is gonna make a lot of annoying noises. Sweet. Fender is on. Definitely a good call. That thing looks crazy. Let's go ahead and do our front wheel. All spaces everywhere. So let's get our axle through and a spacer. Take a wheel. Okay, we got it. 
we're good. Dude, this thing is looking crazy. What is your guys' thoughts on Neochrome? I know it's a, it's like a touchy subject in scootering. A lot of you guys like it. A lot of you guys hate it. And if you guys do hate it, what's the reason behind it? Like, I'm, gen I'm genuinely curious why you guys don't like Neochrome. I mean, it's just a color. I could understand if you were like, hey, just not for me. I'm a fan of black one color scooters that aren't <laughs> rainbow, but like, Dude, I've read some of the comments and you guys, you guys like hate it, really hate it. And I'm, I'm curious. So just let me know, how are you guys watching this right now? Gonna tell me that it doesn't look cool. Come on, you don't have to ride it. It's not your scooter. How are you gonna tell me it doesn't look cool? With the front wheel installed, let's go ahead and put the back wheel on. Right, facer number one in. And goes our wheel. All right, now we can put spacer number two in if it'll let me. Cool. Does a socket fit in here? Oh, dude, I remember when you couldn't fit a socket wrench in Lucky Dex. That was a horrible time. If you ever had to tighten a Lucky Deck, dude, it was like not a fun experience. Dude, I just realized that these wheels have the purple lettering on the core itself. Look how cool that looks. So, Bottom half of the scooter is pretty much all good to go. This thing is looking insane. We need to go ahead and put our grips on our bars. So we will do that. Okay, grip number one is on. Okay, grips are installed. Got my bar ends, we'll crack these guys open. So all we have to do is drop them in like so and tighten this up. Boom. Sweet. Honestly, I think the purple bar ends were a super, super nice touch. I know they're not Neochrome, but these were black or something. It just wouldn't look right with the rest of the scooter. There's like nothing else on there except purples and gold. So I think they were a good touch. And before you keyboard warriors yell at me for not putting a bar sleeve in and I'm riding SCS with a bar that has a slit, here it is. Easy peasy. All right, guys. And just like that, the last step is to just throw the bars on. A little tap of the mount. And just like that, bars are installed. Let's tighten it up, see what it looks like. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, the full Neochrome Custom is done. All right, guys, so we are finished. I hope you enjoyed that lovely B-roll. This thing turned out so much better than I thought it was gonna turn out. I mean, I didn't know what to expect with the full Neochrome custom build, but I'm in love with it. Hate it or love it, this thing is super sick. And now that we know it looks great, let's go find out if it sounds great. And to be expected, this thing sounds like an absolute basketball. I'm not surprised. I mean, look at it. It looks great. Of course it's going to sound great. And I'm sure a ton of you guys love the sound of that. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. Honestly, I'm in love with this thing. If you guys are too, do me a huge favor and let me know by hitting that like button. Liking the video does so much more than you guys could possibly imagine. And if you want to see more custom builds like this, that is the way to let us know. And until the next video, have a good one.